Hey, what's up? This is Urban Armed. I'm just doing a uh, review of the high speed gear. Uh, this is the what they call the armadillo bag, which sounds like armadillo. Armadillo? <laughs> armadillo, as in this thing can actually accept a 13 and a half. Uh, actually, what is the plate size that it can accept? A uh, 13 and a half by 15 and a half inch uh, plate. Uh, if you is a messenger bag plate carrier. So this is my new man bag, my man purse, my merce, whatever you want to call it. I've gone through a couple of laptop bags over the last few years, including the uh, Swiss gear, and I just beat the hell out of them. They fall apart, stitching comes undone, and I was looking for something that uh, could withstand just the daily, you know, daily use with laptops and accessories and, and you know, all sorts of crap. And uh, I decided to go with this. This is the V2. Uh, you may have seen some other reviews out there on the on the V1, uh, which actually I kind of would have preferred, uh, but this thing so far is working for me. So um, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a closer look. So as you can see, it's um, it's got a removable arm strap. The inside has like a, a rubber grip to it, which is really nice because on your shoulder it doesn't slip off at all. Uh, as opposed to bags that just have the standard nylon on this side, it, it tends to, to want to slip. It's got a um, flat pocket on the outside, which this is actually completely removable. Um, and within this is a pocket with a zipper, double zipper, that you can easily access while you're, while you're carrying it. So this would be on the outside of your body. Um, handle is reinforced with uh, some sort of you know, plastic handle. Uh, which actually is nice, and there's another plastic handle on the inside. I'll go ahead and turn around on the sides. You've got um, Molly webbing on the sides. Now, this was originally called the Discreet Messenger Bag, uh, or that's kind of what it, what they were selling it as, because you can conceal firearm in here really easily. In my opinion, this isn't exactly discreet anymore with all the Molly. On the V1, it had less Molly actually on the side. It had um, water bottle holders, that could hold like 32 ounce Nalgene bottles, but whatever um, and then on the back side of the flap there's another pocket and you know again it's it's got some velcro on the inside uh, so you could actually comes with a holster with velcro so if you wanted to you could slide that right on the inside so this would be kind of close to your on the inside of your body and you could easily open that and uh, you know pull out a firearm from that from that side if you, if you wanted to. Um, I'm currently not using the holster just because I carry inside the waistband on my body, but I will probably use this in the, some point down the road. Now, when I when it came with, uh, actually I'll go ahead and take my, uh, turn my bill around so I don't flash my light and my address. Um, on the inside of the flap has kind of like this plastic see-through and it's Velcro. Uh, I've got like my AT&T wireless bill in here right now just so I remember to pay it. Um, and it just opens with Velcro. Now when I first got the bag, uh, it came with these um, uh, straps. Um, I forget what the hell they're called. The Malice straps. So I went ahead and actually attached this flap piece through the molly webbing using the malice straps, but when it comes uh, in the mail, this comes basically loose, and that's not really cool. Kind of sucks actually, uh, but it does come off, and the straps go through the bottom of the bag, and then will clip to the uh, to the flap here. All right, so the top, you've got some Velcro here, so I just put uh, Moderna patch on there. It's kind of cool, I guess. Um, this flap is, is kind of annoying a little bit. I wish there was a way to hold it like halfway up, but you can actually just completely remove this because like I said, the bottom straps clip into itself in the buckle as I just knocked over that crap on my table like a professional. Ceiling from Captain Brewers there. All right, so moving to the inside pocket. Um, it has quite a bit of space. I mean, they claim on the website that you could theoretically fit three 17 inch laptops in here. I'm gonna try to move the camera in for a high, higher angle. All right, so looking from the top, you can kind of see it basically opens up and got one big compartment in here in the center, uh, which is framed or padded on the sides, I should say. I've got um, my laptop in here. So this is just a 13 inch and I usually have this little I don't know, neoprene laptop condom I use. So you could actually just slide it in here like so because it's, it's um, 
it's got Velcro on, on either side on the inside, so it makes good padding. I don't like sliding it in here because there's nothing to protect it. And uh, as you can see, I can keep my headphones in there, uh, my notepads, uh, notebook, and um, you know, iPhone charger and pen and contact lens case glasses. Sorts of crap. I keep dropping stuff all over the floor like a professional. All right, so, you know, I've got my laptop in there. Um, I also, on this side, it's got a Velcro, which opens up, and I keep my iPad in, uh, over on this side. Uh, and then you can actually, when, I, when, the, when, the, when, I, when the bag uh, was shipped, they actually had the holster attached on the inside, and they also include two other Velcro straps, which you can use to help keep this kind of attached to the side, but I find it a bit annoying because all I really do is slide my laptop over on that side anyway. So in the center console, they say you can fit three 17 inch laptops, definitely two. Um, I wouldn't want to put a laptop in the center without a case though, just because if you're using it, um, you know, I've got a flashlight in there. I do keep uh, extra mags as well um, over in this, this side pocket right here. Just keep a couple extra mags in here. Uh, these go to my uh, my M&P shield, and it's got little inserts for pens. I've got a cigar in there, some pens, flashlight, some other crap. Uh, but you know, it, it seems to be working out pretty well. I've been using it for a couple of weeks, and so far, so good. Um, the version. Oh, um, and the other thing too is on this side. Uh, which is the side that would be facing the outside, but with the flap over it. This opens up, and it's another pocket. And this is the side that, uh, I've got some headphones in there, uh, that you can put the 13 and a half by 15 and a half inch uh, plate in if you wanted to. So I guess is to uh, help shield your body in case you were getting shot at. Uh, which, you know, I don't work in the ghetto, so that's good. Um, it does come with a lifetime uh, warranty to the original purchaser. Just a little thing of note on the outside as well. It has a little flap. You can flap, switch that open to the other side, and it's got a little hole. So you can uh, basically run a headphones through it or whatever if you wanted to keep something inside. Um, it also has an additional strap here in the bottom. Uh, which I haven't used or need, found a need to use, you know, for it so far. Um, I will say this: if you buy this, you're definitely going to want to use the malice straps if you plan to use the uh, bag cover to attach it, uh, because otherwise, this whole flap will just totally open up. See, I've got the malice straps in there. One, two, three, four. If those weren't in there. This whole thing just comes off, and it's just really useless at that point. Um, so that's one thing I would definitely say is if you, if you get it, you're going to want to attach those for sure. Sounds like one of my neighbors is banging on a drum or something. So anyway, I uh, just kind of want to do a little overview as far as a review goes. I've um, been using it for a few weeks now and haven't actually uh, had any issues with it. I really like it. It's really durable. Um, it's, uh, I think it's going to work out pretty well for me. I don't necessarily need it to be uh, you know, discreet for like concealed carry because it's not really necessary for what I do. But for those out there that might, uh, it does come in additional colors. So it does come in uh, Atax, Black, Coyote Brown, Multicam, and Olive Drab, and OD, OD Green. So this is actually the, um, the Coyote Tan just because I wanted something different. I've always had a black messenger bag and just thought I'd kind of like this a little bit better, so uh, that's what I decided to roll with. Um, the retail on this is $155. It's a little pricey. Uh, it does come with a lifetime warranty, however, for the original owner, and uh, it's made in the USA. So um, H HSGI or High Speed Gear makes a lot of great products. I've got some other products by them that I've kind of been using and I haven't uh, done any videos on because I'm trying to, trying to do more review type videos, like recommendation. Um, there's some other bags out there um, there's a there's a couple of really good ones, but they also run quite a bit more than this one. And your average messenger laptop bag, if you carry a laptop to work every day like I do, it's definitely um, a lot easier than just carrying a backpack because I don't want to carry a full backpack, even though it's sometimes probably a little bit easier. Um, it, I just prefer this because I like to be able to access stuff really quickly while I'm while I'm walking. 
But some of the other bags I've seen out there are upwards of three, four hundred dollars, which I just can't justify uh, for carrying a laptop and my crap around every day. So that's that's kind of what pushed me to the HSGI bag. Um, there's a couple reviews out there on the V1. This is the V2. The V1 had um, some nicer some nicer features, in my opinion, on this side rather than it just be full molly webbing. It actually had attachments for two uh, P mags or AK mags, and then also in the center it had uh, some pistol mags, some pouches, like using the uh, HSGI taco pouches. So. You know, I kind of would wish that this had that as well. It would have been really nice to be able to have, um, you know, pistol pistol pouches right here, uh, or use them for other things, um, storing, you know, like my laptop charger and stuff like that. But this just comes with the Molly webbing, so I guess they figure you can buy more crap to attach to it, which I might do down the road. Uh, I just haven't decided what exactly how I want to configure it. But in any case, um, you know, this is you know uh, kind of a little. Bit of an overview, and it's called the Armor Armordillo bag because obviously it can hold a, a armor plate on the inside, um, which I don't plan to do. Uh, but you know, it's just a tactical bag. So, all right. So typically, when I am wearing this, it's just kind of over the shoulder. Uh, a lot of people like to wear it crossways across the body. Um, I don't really care for that way too much, so I just wear it like this, and it works pretty well. It's got an adjustable strap. Like I said, one of the nicest features about this bag uh, is that it's got this rubber cushioned uh, uh, insert on the back side of the shoulder strap, so it doesn't slip off. And what happens is, when you get a lot of weight, it tends to want to, you know, slip off your shoulder, but it seems to hold itself really well. Um, but overall. I'd say it's a great bag. Um, I definitely would recommend it. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, or if you've, if you've got the same one or a different version, you know, let me know. Um, here's kind of a, um, a view of the bottom where those straps, you know, come, come through and all the way around so you can actually remove this flap all, all together. But I think if you do that, it kind of makes it look even more uh, military-esque or something. So I, I actually like the flap on there. But, um, Anyways, that's it. This is the Armadillo V2 by uh, High Speed Gear. And, uh, you know, like I said, so far I've been really liking it. Been using it for about a month now. And uh, definitely would, uh, would recommend it for anyone that's in the market for a really rugged, made in the USA with a lifetime guarantee laptop bag. Uh, especially if you like the idea of easily being able to carry uh, a holster or anything else inside. Uh, in, in enclosed pockets without exposing them uh, whenever you open the bag. So for that, I would say definitely, uh, definitely worthwhile. So anyway, that's it. Urban Arms, out.